Hi there, this video is very interesting. We will explain how to use the clone stamp tool, a very useful Photoshop tool that you have masterized as a graphic designer. Like you can see in the example, we use this tool to remove the woman from the background and to replace it its area with a new created pixels. So before we begin, if you don't have the Adobe Photoshop installed in your machine, I place the link in the description below where you can download the last version of Adobe Photoshop for free. And if you have any problem installing the software, leave me a comment and I will reply to help you. First thing we create a duplicate layer with Ctrl G and we choose the clone stamp tool. So using the clone, clone stamp tool is very easy and all we have to do after choosing the area we want to duplicate or we want to use to remove the girl, we click the Alt key from the keyboard to select the area to copy and like you can see here, clicking with the Alt key to choose the area and paint with the tool to duplicate this area and remove remove the girl from the background it is very easy to use all you have to do is select the area to stamp and use the alt key to copy the area and paint with the tool like you can see it is very easy to use all you have to do is be attention before choosing the area like you can see here you can of course make the tool size bigger or smaller like you want so we will make it a little more bigger to clone more big area all you have to do click alt from the keyboard and continue painting with the stamp tool like you can see here this area also with the same technique the same technique here we are trying to clone the grass and replace the girl image with the grass we clone choose this area alt key from the keyboard and pass the clone area in front of the girl image the same technique here so like you can see now we have removed the bottom part of the girl body successfully now i will accelerate the video because there is nothing new here just with the same technique using the alt key from the keyboard and clicking we make a clone and painting with the tool makes the clone parts from the image past Pass it in the area you want. All you have to be attentive on in the, using the clone stamp tool is the area you clone must must be very similar to to the area around it. So we clone now these trees from here so using the alt key from the keyboard we clone the three parts from the image we make the tool a little more bigger now and we clone this grass parts here we have to very to be very careful to make the result looks very similar to the background around it so now we clone the sea and we clone the forest here we 
and also the forests here so it's still not not so much not so much uh, things left from the girl image technique is very easy to do all you have to do after choosing the area you want to cl clone just click on the alt key from the keyboard to clone it and pass with painting with the tool so like you can notice it's still not still so too much to do here so we try to remove this little edges from the edges of the sea like you can see this is the original image and this is the result we get after using the clone stamp tool it is very perfect very realistic and very professional all right we will clone a little from the sea here and past it here to refine the edges all right guys i wish this tutorial was useful for you don't forget to subscribe to get the tutorials coming up if you have any issues installing the software or applying today's lesson just leave me a comment and i will reply to help you thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorials